Hello everyone. Today I wanted to show you all how I made my redstone maze generator. So this is a contraption that can generate a maze that contains no loops and fills up the entire grid. This design is also tileable. Um, each tile is a six by six area. And it is, um, this particular version is 12, a 12 by 12 grid, but it can theoretically be expanded as far as you want. So yeah, let's just go ahead and generate a new maze. And there we go, we now have a fully generated maze. So now I wanted to show you guys a bit about how the maze generator works. So um, it uses what's called the hunt and kill algorithm. The way this algorithm works is it activates a cell, and what the active cell does is it will path to a random neighboring cell that hasn't been visited yet. So it'll choose between these two cells and path to one like that. Now this cell becomes the new active cell, and this cell will path to a random neighboring cell. And then this behavior will just continue. So this one will choose a random neighboring cell. This one will go down, for example. This one left. And now the active cell is surrounded by visited cells. So it's in a dead end. And when this happens, this cell will deactivate and the algorithm will enter the scanning process. So um, it'll begin scanning the whole grid for a cell that is has been visited, but is next to an unvisited cell. So we'll start with this cell. This cell is visited, but it is not next to an unvisited cell. So let's continue to the next one. This cell is visited, and it is next to an unvisited cell. So this becomes the new active cell. So now I'll just path again. So this is active. I'll choose between these two. This one will path this way. And I'll just continue choosing randomly until it hits another dead end. Now we begin the scanning process again. So it looks through this column, finds nothing. Looks through this column, finds nothing. And this cell is uh, a visited cell that is next to an unvisited cell. So we activate this one, and then we start pathing again. Now, our, our maze is complete, but the algorithm actually doesn't know that yet. So um, it'll uh, deactivate this one, and it'll enter the um, scanning process again. It'll look through this column, it finds nothing. It'll look through this column, nothing. This column, nothing. In this column nothing and once it reaches this cell it knows that it hasn't found a single unvisited cell so it knows the maze is complete and we're done so this is what each individual cell in the maze generator looks like so at the top here we have the maze itself and these walls are controlled by these triple piston extenders that I found from Sassy Fish. And uh, so I'll have a link to their video in the description. Um, I modified this design so that it can push 11 blocks instead of 10 um, because I needed these walls need to be 11 blocks. 
down here we have uh, this purple um, system right here. And uh, what this does is it stores the uh, active cell. So if the cell is active, this will be on. And uh, these, these magenta circuits here um, allow the active cell to be transferred from one tile to the next. So beneath that, we have this blue circuit. And this blue circuit stores whether the cell has been visited or not. So if it is on, then the cell has not been visited. And if it's off, it has. Beneath that, we have the cyan circuit. In the cyan circuit, we'll um, take an input from each of the neighboring cells and see if they have been visited or not. So um, if all of the cells, surrounding cells, have been visited, this will turn off. So then we have this green circuit down here, and the green circuit is in charge of scanning through the grid to find which cell we want to activate. Um, and I also use instant wire for these green circuits so that the scanning can be done instantly. So then we have these gray wires, and these just run throughout the entire maze, and what they do is they just reset everything. Um, and they, they are called um, every time a new maze is generated. Lastly, we have this randomizer circuit. So this randomizer is um, made up of two two-way randomizers, and together they make up a four-way randomizer. So we also have this clock here that is set to four ticks. So every four ticks, this randomizer is going to um, give a random output of one to four. These outputs connect to these pink wires, which run throughout the maze, and they just control the movement of the active cell. So that was my maze generator. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.